Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse. Alright, I'm back in LAX, ready to go back home. And of course the whole TSA experience was the same wonderful experience I had on the way out. You know, you get a temporary driver's license and you gotta go through, that automatically makes you a terrorist and you have to go through extra security. So, fortunately I prepared ahead of time for that and it was a little bit more efficient this time. Back in Dallas, uh, flight back was a lot better than the one uh, that I made out of here. The uh, only real uh, setback at all was that the uh, there was a slight delay taking off because I guess they decided they had to replace the smoke detector in one of the bathrooms. But you know that delayed us about 10 minutes. No biggie. No weather issues. No canceled flights. No crazy Uber drivers. It was just a pretty easy flight. So yeah. Two hours to home now. Now all I gotta do is hope I collected enough information to be able to figure out my way back to my car. 
Entry E5, that must be the place. Awesome. All right, pretty easily found my way back to my car. Now I got about a two hour drive back to Waco. Let's go. Ready to be home. Ready to see some kitty cats. I'll tell you, next time I travel out of here, I'm not going through Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, it is just amazing there. It was, it was crazy. You look at the, the GPS map and it's like, you know, do this all over the place. It's like, and you make one little turn, wrong turn and then, then everything's all screwed up. So yeah, definitely. I'm going to definitely check up Love Field next time because this is just, a, this is a joke. I guess they do have traffic in Texas. Who to thunk? All right, I finally made it home and it's good to be here. Uh, it's been a long trip, but it's always good to get home. So I have one more uh, school video of my college years that I'm going to do. And that was supposed to actually get put up in place of this one. But I decided I wanted to do this one first, just so everyone's up to date on what's going on. Uh, one, one thing I want to say uh, for all of you who've been uh, giving your thoughts and prayers to my father. My father came home on the 2nd. So uh, that was good news. He's back at home and kind of uh, just taking it easy right now. They didn't really do anything about the back because that's just a pain issue and they can, they've been able to kind of control that. Uh, he doesn't even like using the drugs, but what he's found is that if he just kind of keeps his back warm, that he does a lot better. So he's, I think, just uh, treating that with like a heating pad and stuff like that. He's uh, kind of still getting around a little bit gingerly. He's using a walker to move around, and that's probably a good thing. But they dealt with all the, the really serious issues. The issue with the liver, which has been kind of a concern uh, during this whole thing, seems to be on the mend. He's back on solid food and uh, seems to be in really good spirits. So that's good news. I'm glad to, we're all glad to hear that. And uh, he, he is in, incredibly grateful and thankful to you for all your prayers and support during this time. Um, it was also good to see the cats when I got home. Uh, they were kind of both kind of hanging out in their room uh, when I got home. And usually they're a little bit shy the first night when I come back after a trip. But they were both down here doing their thing and everything seems to be back to normal. So I think they did maybe miss me a little bit. But I also do believe that they, they like it a lot when I'm not here. So um, thank you as always for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.